to a story that has really elicited reactions, concerns in the country over the past months. That is in regards to the housing levy where a section of beneficiaries of the housing levy drawn from the Juakali sector, the micro, small and medium enterprises and the community-based organizations are now calling on the High Court to retract the November 30th declaration that the act violated constitutional principles. The protesters took to Nairobi's central business district streets in peaceful procession and later addressed the media outside the Supreme Court. They claim the housing project has provided job opportunities to the youths and halting it will be a disaster. Take a look. Thursday morning in the capital central business district. Hundreds of youth take to the streets to declare their support for the housing levy that was declared unconstitutional by the courts. Their chants. From the city hallway to Parliament Road and back to the Supreme Court, they made their case hard. Some even venting out calling on Senator Okio Mtata to leave the levy matters and focus on other things. Outside the court, youth and their representatives say the corridors of justice ought to look into the issue of the youth who are employed to ensure the success of the housing project. According to them, over 600,000 people are currently employed through the government-sponsored project. <laughs> Koti kiangalia tunaishimu tunaishimu koti sana ndani yetu lakini tunamuomba atuangalie asinja akatuangusha watu wote watalala na njaa hao wote tuliwatoa waache kuwa wahisi huko kama madhare wapi wapi sasa anataka waruti wapi kasi kisha they further dismissed any political connection to the protests hakuna mtu wa serikali tuko naye hapa hii ni njua kali except security guys ndio tuko nao hapa kwa hivyo hapa hakuna politics hakuna kitu kingine ni sisi hii mambo unaona Kila njua kali, kila klasa imechanga pesa ya watu wake kupika hapa. Na kwa vile ni mavundi, wengine tumewatua kwa mjengo, wakuje kudhuria hii kikao. Tunaunga mkono hii housing levy, ndio tuweze kujenga nyumba mingi. Kwa sababu kiangalia watu watini, hawezi afford, hawezi, hawezi afford mortgage. Kwa hivyo, hii nyumba tena nipache, silo napewa nyumba, unalipa pole pole, hiyo tu ndio neza tusaidia. <laughs> Kenya's High Court had declared that the 1.5% levy introduced in an act to fund affordable housing as in violation of the constitutional principles. The levy was a provision of the Finance Act 2023 which faced legal challenges. It was further seen to be in violation of the principle of the taxation as it makes unjustified distinction between people employed in the formal and informal sectors. It will enable the people in the slum to have a decent uh, a decent household sisi vijana tuna job hiyo ndio mboka yenye napigwa pale yenye nasaidia vijana wa mama wale wenye napigia nini chakula kwa watu wa mjengo hapo ndio mboka yao inaingia so wakati hii mjengo inasimamishwa kwa sababu ya housing levy inatuma sana kwa sababu the crime rate itakuwa juu is for reporting for lunchtime news